Welcome to Howard Brown Online Barber College. Make sure you grab your notepad and pen because we are about to begin. Your instructor. My name is Charles Howard. I've been a teacher for 10 years, barbering for 18 years, and I am excited to be here with you on your barbering journey. Now, barbering starts in the book, so let's begin. We are going to be touching on some key points in this chapter, Professional Image. We will be using the Milady Standard Barbering textbook as reference. Our learning objectives. We're going to discuss four important personal hygiene habits. We'll discuss the concept of dressing for, dis for success. We'll practice ergonomically correct movement, postures, and principles. We'll demonstrate an understanding of human relations and communication skills. It is vital to look and act your absolute best when in public because the image you project sets the standard for clients and peers in the workplace. Making a positive impact is essential when working in the business of personal style. Barbers are often held to higher image standards by clients because they view barbers as image experts. Men's Health says, dress like you've made something of yourself, even if you haven't. Apply healthful habits in your daily routine. Hygiene. Wash your hands throughout the day as required, including at the beginning of each service. Now, working as a barber, you will be in close proximity to clients. Make sure your hands are clean so that you are not transferring germs while working. Rest and relaxation. An average of seven to eight hours of sleep each night is recommended by medical professionals. The amount of sleep needed to feel refreshed varies from person to person. Now, adequate sleep is essential for good health because without it, you cannot function efficiently. Nutrition. Drink plenty of water daily. You want to try to avoid sugar, salt, caffeine, and fatty or highly refined and processed foods. What you eat affects your health, appearance, personality, and performance on the job. Exercise. Regular physical activity benefits the body by improving blood circulation, oxygen supply, and proper organ function. Gym activities tend to develop the muscles and help keep the body fit. Stress management and a healthy lifestyle. Stress is the inability to cope with a real or imagined threat that results in a series of mental and physical responses or adaptations. Practice stress management through a combination of rest, relaxation, exercise, and daily routines that provide you with time to calm the body and its systems. Charles Hicks tells us looking good isn't self-importance, it's self-respect. Follow image building basics. Often barbershops have a no fragrance policy for staff members because a significant number of people are sensitive or allergic to a variety of chemicals, including perfume oils. So you don't want to bathe in your cologne. Have you ever smelled someone after they left? Now that's too much cologne. Whether or not your barbershop has a no fragrance policy, cologne and perfume should not be worn to work. Let's talk about dress for success. Your clothes must be pressed and clean. Your wardrobe selection should express a professional image that is consistent with the image of the barbershop. Wrist watches, while a good idea to help stay on schedule, should be waterproof. And then hair maintenance, when you're talking about facial grooming for male barbers, is of utmost importance. If you have a beard or mustache, be sure it is neat and trimmed. Employ proper ergonomics to protect your body. 
posture. Working as a barber, you will spend most of your time in a standing position. Good posture conveys an image of confidence and can prevent fatigue and many other physical problems. Having, a good, having good posture allows you to get through your day feeling good and doing your best work. You want to keep your head up and chin parallel to the floor. You'll want to hold your shoulders level and relaxed. And then you want to stand with your, your spine straight. Keep the soles of your feet on the floor directly under your knees. And then have, have the seat of the chair even with your knees. This position will allow the upper and lower legs to form a 90 degree angle at the knees. Body movement. Now, did you know each year hundreds of barbering professionals report musculoskeletal disorders, including carpal tunnel syndrome and back injuries? Prevention is the key to avoiding problems and awareness of your posture and movements coupled with good work habits, proper tools and equipment will enhance your health and comfort. Repetitive motions have a cumulative effect on the muscles and joints. Now, when barbers perform repetitive movements, it makes them susceptible to problems of the hands, wrists, shoulders, neck, back, feet, and legs. Try to position your arms at less than a 60 degree angle when holding your arms away from your body while working and keep your wrists in a straight or neutral position as much as possible. When standing to cut hair, position your legs hip width apart, bend your knees slightly and align your pelvic area with your abdomen. Now you can counter the negative impact of repetitive motions or long periods spent in one position by stretching and walking around at intervals. Put your well-being first. Practice effective human relations and communication skills. Human relations describes the interactions and relationships between two or more people. And rapport involves establishing a close or and empathetic relationship that fosters agreement and harmony between individuals. Your professional attitude is exp expressed through your self-esteem, confidence, and the respect you show others. In a business setting, it is best to avoid such controversial topics as religion and politics, personal problems, or issues relating to other people. You'd want to show interest in the client's personal preferences and give the client undivided attention. And then you want to use tact when dealing with problems you may encounter. Deal with all disputes and differences in private. Some desirable qualities for effective client relations are the following. Talking less, listening more. When you practice good listening skills, you are fully attentive to what the other person is saying. Emotional control. Learn to control your emotions. Try to respond rather than to react. Communication is one of the barber's most important human relations skills. Communication includes listening, listening skills, tone, speech, and conversational ability, all of which are necessary to forming satisfying relationships with customers and coworkers. Organize your thoughts. What question or information do you want your client to understand? You have to know what questions to ask to get an understanding of the haircut your client wants. When it talks about self-promotion and building a clientele, t-shirts with a shop name on it or car magnets with contact info on it are good ways, for self, good ways to promote yourself to build a clientele. A frequent form of communication that can easily be misunderstood, yet has serious impact upon your business, is online communication. Social media is establishing a professional online image is an essential image building attribute. 
and not one to be taken lightly. Lastly, don't forward spam. Don't forward spam to your clients. It may have a negative effect on your image and important emails may not be received when you are sending out updates. Make sure you like our page on Facebook, Howard Brown Online Barber College. If you like this video, please share it and subscribe to the channel. For questions and comments, please email howardbrownoba at gmail.com. And this concludes this lesson. Remember that barbering starts in the book. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.